Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I have a purse, I guess, review to show. Okay, so if you've never seen this purse before, this is the Louis Vuitton St. Cloud and I purchased this pre-loved on eBay. It is a discontinued style, so this is the bag. And okay, so this is the St. Cloud, the Louis Vuitton St. Cloud GM. They have an MM size and they have a GM size. Now, the reason why I bought this bag is because I was thinking of getting the Louis Vuitton favorite MM. Uh, I don't know why. Why did I want that bag? I wanted I wanted a casual crossbody bag for like everyday, you know, wear. And that bag is like a thousand dollars with you know tax and everything. And I actually purchased one. I had purchased the why is this so heavy? I had purchased the favorite MM in the Damier Abin, and that's when I realized I'm not a Damier Abin person. Uh, with the squares, like that's not that's not my get down. I like monogram, so I returned that bag. Okay. MM was on my wish list, and you know monogram forever. And my mom was time for me to get like just an everyday bag. Now I take this to work. I've had this bag for like it's probably been on the second week, maybe. And I friggin' love it. I saw some YouTube videos, but not a lot of people have this bag because, like I said, it's been discontinued. And I friggin' love it. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go over the bag really quick. You have this long strap and I left this on to show you guys like this little shoulder thing I'm gonna take this off I don't really like this it like kind of gets in the way then you have your um vachetta straps I'm um, sorry you have your strap that's adjustable mine as short as I am I don't like it to be like you know on the shortest rung I like it a little longer so I have it like this I'm five one and you have your you know little hooks to hook the strap and what else did i want to show you oh it has a back pocket and what was i going to say what i noticed about this bag i feel like it's constructed better than a lot of the other louis vuitton bags which everybody says that but this canvas is thicker canvas um, and I'm going to do a comparison video, compare it against the Louis Vuitton Matisse. Uh, my mother has that bag and she is going to let me film that video. So stay tuned for that. But okay, so all the time with Louis Vuitton bags and even with Chanel, the patterns like match up, but the pattern like really matches up like precisely. If you can see like this. It matches like precisely. They did an excellent job. Right. You um, have this little hook thingy and it says Louis Vuitton on the little thing. Now, I got this bag for $2.99, you guys, which that's a steal. So I got it pre-owned, like I said. And this is the inside. And it does have some flaws, like on the front there's like a little mark here which i think i can clean that i actually have not really thoroughly cleaned this bag since i got it got it and this is the inside like i've been using it so i have stuff in here so i'll just do a brief what's in my bag really quick i have my inhaler my work badge my louis vuitton josephine wallet some like gum actually this is like trash Tissues, my EpiPen. I keep the same stuff in my purse. My YSL uh, lip balm, hand sanitizer, my purse hook, which I have. Uh, you guys know I have a purse hook in all my purses. I have to get a dust bag though. It didn't come with a dust bag. My uh, Mont Blanc Meister Stroop pen, and like um. This is like, I keep my medicine in here. It's a pill case. And I have a hair tie. Actually, I'm gonna tie my hair up. And my Chanel compact mirror. Okay, so, you know, this is the inside of the video, oh, video, the inside of the bag. 
and it does have a pocket here and you can see ugh, i don't know if you can see but louis vuitton made in france let me see if i can open this yeah so it has a pocket like an inside pocket the inside pocket is like not in the best shape as you can see so i'm not going to put anything in there but what i've noticed with these like pre-owned bags the in that inside pocket is always like jacked up like <laughs> i don't know what it is but um at any rate you can clearly fit a lot in it and honestly you know let's do a prediction i think i could probably fit more in this bag than the louis vuitton matisse bag um the tea i don't yeah my tea but overall this is the bag i don't know the specs so i'm sure you're probably thinking like what are the specs i will list them in the description bar below and like i said if you're looking for this bag it's pre-owned it's discontinued you'll have to check the pre-owned market um mm -hmm. like i said i got you know check your pre-owned sites but pretty much i love this bag like particularly since I got it for a song. I mean, $2.99, you can't beat that with the stick. And they even had some for less, but, um, you know, I wanted a better condition. And they have some for more, you know, for to spend more if you want an even better condition of this bag. But I was cool with this condition. I'm way more stuff, which I don't like to even load my bags down anyway. But I could fit more things in oh let me put okay. and i do use the back pocket sometimes to put my phone if i'm like going in the store or something but overall like i said i rate this bag um two thumbs up i give it 4.5 out of five stars reason being i'm taking a, a point off because i don't really like this thing but I really like a lot of the vintage stuff. It's just like really cool. And then you, the prices are better because <laughs> they're pre-owned. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and if you have this bag, tell me what you think. And if I made you want to get this bag, comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know. All right, see you guys later. Bye.